Hallelujah. How are you doing? I trust that you are well kept by the grace of God wherever you are. Welcome again to Destiny Daily Devotions. And uh, this week, if you have been following keenly, we have been talking about the sword of the Spirit. And our key scripture was from the book of Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 17, which says, Take up the helmet of salvation, which is the sword of the Spirit and the word of God. What a powerful scripture. Now, today, from the same topic, I am coming with point number three, which is our Lord and his victory over Satan, which is found from the book of Matthew, chapter 4, uh, from verse 1 up to verse 11. But I'm going to read from verse 1, and then I'll jump over to verse 10 uh, to save time. Now, then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to, the, uh, to be tempted by the devil. That's verse 1. Then verse 10, it says, Then Jesus said to him, Away from you, Satan, for it is written, that is the word I was looking for, for it is written, you shall worship the Lord your God, and him only you shall serve. Now, if you look at this scripture, you realize in the, in the, in the great temptations, our Lord experienced at the beginning of his public ministry, he used the sword of the Spirit to defeat Satan. He quoted scriptures to him. He told him, it is written. Look at verse 10. He says, away from you, Satan, for it is written, you shall worship the Lord your God. And I'm telling you, in every instance, in each instance, great scriptural truths rose up from his memory to number one, warn him, uh, you know, strengthen him, guide him. And even sustain him. Just because he had memorized scriptures and it helped him great, in, in a great way. Now let's look at uh, uh, chapter 119 of Psalms and verse 11. The psalmist says what? He says, I have laid up thy word in my heart that I might not sin against you. That is RSV version. But if you look at the New King James Version, it says, I have stored up thy word in my heart that I may not sin against you. This is a psalm is talking to, you know, to God directly, telling him that I have stored up your word or thy word in my heart that I may not sin against you. And you see, we, we can also see, you know, Jesus. We see, we see it even in the, in the midst of his sufferings on the cross. He quoted from the scriptures. You know why? Because our Lord had studied the scriptures in the synagogue as a child and had memorized many great scriptural truths and, it, and, and we can see right from Matthew every time he, he told the enemy it is written it is written it helped him great time mm. so even us we too can memorize these powerful scriptures from the word of God the sword of the spirit so that we can have resources to draw from Whenever we face crisis in our lives or even opportunities, you know, yeah. So uh, there's something I wrote down here as I wind up. Like computers, which are limited to recalling information that is fed into them, our minds can recall only the spiritual truths that we store up in our hearts, in our spirits. I pray that today you have received a challenge to be able to read the word of God and memorize the powerful scriptural truths that you find you know, in, in, in the word of God so that they may help you to conquer the enemy. 
to conquer any kind of crisis in your life, to conquer any kind of temptations that may come on your way. The word of God is the sword of the spirit. It is the helmet of salvation. Remember last week we talked about the helmet of salvation. I pray that you are blessed by this word. Today I'm very brief and I just pray that we will store up the word of God in our hearts to help us in the time of need. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord, for my viewer today. In the name of Jesus, I thank you for their lives. I thank you, Lord, that you are helping them to be able to read your word, to be able to store up the word of God in their spirits and in their hearts to help them, you know, to help them, Lord, conquer every crisis that may come in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus, that it may help them, Lord, to tell the enemy, to tell any situation in their, in their lives that it is written, it is written, just like Jesus conquered Satan by the sword of the Spirit. In Jesus' name, we pray and give thanks. Amen. Shalom. God bless you.